Okay, so this video is going to show you how to add cards so that you can start building your digital portfolio. Um, we've talked about needing five items from your portfolio to include in this video. So what I want you to pay attention to is they should all be YouTube links. And I've got three tabs open. I'm just going to show you how to include two of your assignments. These are obviously not assignments of mine, but videos that I've made, but they work the same way. You will have five tabs open. It'll just make the process a little bit faster and easier if you have those links ready to go. So if you watch the video of my quote unquote digital portfolio, since I'm not actually making a portfolio, I just talked about myself and the process of making math videos this year. And so what I'm going to do is link some example math videos that I have. So this tab has the area and perimeter problem that I made in my house. And this is another math video that I made around Halloween time, which is talking about percents and fractions and decimals. So I'm going to find my first video, oops, which is right here, the digital portfolio. Now, this so video for you, it'll be the video where you're talking about yourself as a learner and your fifth grade experience. And you can watch this video to kind of get some more details on what that looks like. But so this is a video that you're going to start at the beginning with, and then you're going to link all of your portfolio items with the screencast on there. Now, don't forget, you need five. Three of them are specific. One is one that you're most proud of yourself and your screencast should explain the assignment, why you're proud of it, and go through the process of what you did in order to complete it. A second one needs to be one that you are frustrated with yourself, maybe one that you didn't think you did so well, that you struggled with, and talk about that process and what you did to get through it. The last, the third one should be one that you're currently working on. Maybe it's already been turned in, um, but you keep going back to revise. It could be writing, it could be anything, but one that you've revisited and you can talk about going back to previous assignments and what you do to make things better. Then the last two can be any that you want to. I'm only gonna show you how to include two. So this video is where you're talking about yourself as a learner and what you've learned about yourself and how you learn. So right here where the little I is, it says cards. You're gonna click card and you're going to add a card. So you're gonna watch the video. So this video is gonna show you how. Um, this will be talking about how you're describing yourself as a learner. So maybe you say, one of my assignments is the one that I'm most proud of. And let's say you're saying that at this point, this is where you're talking about. This is where I'm most proud of myself. And so when you get to that part, I keep having like weird faces. I wanna kind of pause it there. But you would hit add card. It's going to be a video or playlist because you're just gonna link other YouTube videos. So all of those annotations, or I'm sorry, not annotations, all those screencasts you've made should now be YouTube links. We've talked about that. So hit create. And rather than search through it, that's why I have these tabs open. So I'm gonna find my first video that I like to do. Hit share, copy that link, go back to my original one and paste it down here and create card. Right here is where it says there's the card. So then you keep playing your video and maybe now you're you're talking about that assignment that you really struggled with and you're gonna get ready to get into that. So you're gonna pause it there, add a card, your video. Again, it's easier if you already have the tab open. Hit share to copy and paste that link. And you'll notice it tells you exactly what the name of your videos are. So you'll have all of that. You'll have five. Your video is going to be a lot longer than mine. This is just to show you how to do it. It's very similar to the annotations, although cards will work on mobile devices. So that's really cool. Okay. So now, this is where you can go back and watch it. So this video is going to show you how. Let me see. So we're, it's not going to pop up like a blank here, but you'll notice here is where there's, it'll say more information. Oh, more information. Here's the link to my screencast. Well, for you, it'd be a screencast to your 
different assignments and you so would have so five you know, be listed little, here but longer than and that's when anybody can pick yeah. one click on it and it'll take them to that video and that's how your digital portfolio is going to work so i hope this helped if you have any questions make sure you come and see me thank you